What is up guys? Kevin here from Salty Bottom Outdoors. A little outside my element today. Uh, <laughs> we are in Alaska exploring an abandoned mining town up on a mountain. I just got to show y'all this landscape. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's nothing like anything I've ever been in before. I've been up in the Rockies and it doesn't even compare to this. This is crazy. Check this out. There's the valley. We just drove up from the valley way out there. We're up by the snow line. It is uh, it is middle of September, so the snow just started falling not too long ago up here. And it is drop dead gorgeous. That's the mining village that we're gonna go explore right up there. It's hard to see from out here, but there's actually a village right up there. We're gonna head up there, hike some trails. Um, so Salty Bottom Outdoors isn't just about fishing. I always plan on doing some exploring and some other stuff like that. And uh, this upcoming year, I should have a lot more time to do some exploring and bring y'all some content that's not just me catching fish, although pretty much everywhere I go, I will be looking to catch fish. And tomorrow, we're going to catch fish. We're going to uh, actually the Little Sestina River, which we just drove up nearby here, drains into the area that we will be fishing tomorrow, which is the Sestina River system. And we'll be fishing the Willow Creek area uh, for trout and maybe hopefully some king salmon. So y'all stick around. I'm gonna bring y'all some footage from this area. I'll try to do a little talking and tell y'all what's going on with all these uh, mining towns and stuff like that. So sit back, grab something warm <laughs> to drink and enjoy this footage. I'll see y'all in a few. Guys, it is no secret that I'm not a fan of cold. I hate cold. I'd rather be 120 than 20, but this, this was worth the drive. This is worth the freezing. I don't care, it's awesome. Fresh powder on the ground. It just started snowing on these caps while we were here. We flew in, these mountains did not have snow on it. And it's a really cool area. I can't wait for y'all to see this footage. It's, it's, it's incredible up here. Hey pops, what's up? What's up? Hey, oh, you got you got messy, huh? <laughs> Guys, this is awesome. I can't imagine what it must have been like living here when this mine was active. This is awesome. I feel like I've been to this town when I was playing Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been here. Like, I think they based it off of this mining town. That's pretty cool. I mean, it even looks sort of like the landscape and everything, the old building sort of falling apart. This is, this is incredible. If y'all ever get a chance to come and visit Alaska, take it it doesn't matter what time of year it is you might freeze your butt off worth it 100 percent. the landscape out here is just absolutely incredible i'm gonna get up this steep run right here get around the top where the rest of these old mining buildings are be back at you in just a second these old carts gardner denver mining company look at that isn't that so cool This is awesome.
these old buildings have long since been worn out. It's incredible that even a few walls are still standing with the type of, uh, oh my God, almost slipped with the type of, with the type of, uh, elements that these buildings are exposed to. They still got piping and wiring and all kinds of stuff still setting up in here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Some type of motor or pump right there. A couple of my guys having a snowball fight. These are my buddies from the National Guard. Hey, y'all. We don't, we don't see snow much in Mississippi. <laughs> Look at that. This all would have been a track that they ran those, that train I just showed you. Ran all the way out there, that's crazy. It looks like an old lift house. They had a cable lift that went from there to there. So I told y'all, when we flew up here less than a week ago, most of these mountains didn't have snow on it. And I'll tell you what, this hike, would have been a lot easier on this trail about a week ago <laughs> but the landscape i don't think the landscape would have gotten better this stream i bet you that water is more pure than anything you could get out of a water bottle actually i want to kind of want to take a sip see if i can get down there without hurting myself all right still trying to get down there all right we're gonna see how this this ice melt water tastes oh yeah I could drink that all day that's delicious not bad ice cold too oh my god my hand is freezing oh it's a little slick going downhill every part of me wishes I had my uh, Every part of me wishes I had hiking boots, but uh, I guess combat boots will have to do. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Have you ever seen something more beautiful and serene as this? I mean... Jeez, look at that. You can see where the cables go up there. So I'm guessing the entrance to the mine is over the top of this. I wonder if a lot of that, those boulders and stuff came out of the mine when they originally dug it. That'd be really cool if we could go up there. Obviously we're not, because it's a nature preserve. We are sticking to the trails. Because uh, first of all, I don't want to get in trouble. Second of all, you know, I'm a conservationist at heart. Yes, I eat fish. I don't keep more than I can eat. I don't keep limits every time just because I can. I like preserving it. I want future generations to be able to come and see and do what I've done. So stick to the trails, please, guys. You don't want to you don't want to end up as a bear scat. No, not jazz scat. Bear scat. It's it's a nice word for poop, and it's not what you want to be. It is so silent. I mean, I'm not from an area where it snows a lot and I've heard that when there's fresh puffy powder on the ground, it's almost eerie how quiet it is. I mean, it's, you can, the only thing you hear is the trickle of that stream just over the hill over there. And the trickle of the little Sestina River right on the other side. But other than that, it is completely silent.
Wow. This trail is so sketchy. There's like old posts. I guess there used to be a walking path. Oh, look, look, look. You can see the boards and stuff that came out of here. All of this, I'm assuming, came out the mine. These nice square, you know, sharp edges. That isn't something that nature eroded over time. They built that up. Oh, oh, oh I almost slipped. Oh, again. Oh. Y'all make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Let me know if you like this type of thing. I definitely plan on doing more exploring whether y'all like it or not because I like it. And as much as I love you guys, this channel is about what I enjoy doing and I just bring y'all along with me and hopefully find some people that love it too. So y'all, like, smash that subscribe button, comment down below. If y'all want to see me do some more exploring, then I will definitely make it a point to do some more exploring because I love this type of stuff. So this rock dump is that pile of white right there. And there used to be aerial tram right there. They had a blacksmith shop and a lunchroom off to the right of it. Obviously they're long since gone. That's pretty awesome. And then uh, this is what's called a rock glacier, which is all that right there. So it's a big rock slide that happened. And then there also used to be another aerial tram. Let's see if I can figure out where this one, it would have been probably in this area, it looks like. And then in 1906, Robert Lee Hatcher found that peak. That's pretty cool. Hello people. It's Todd. You don't know me because I, I, he gave me his thing so you can go use the latrine, you know what I mean? But guess what? I'm sharing my snowman. His name is Bob. He's born in Alaska. Um, he's like 12 seconds old. Um, yeah. He don't kill me. But anyways, what y'all doing, man? I like my beanie. I got like three coats. I feel, uh oh, he's coming up. All right, see you later. Check out this landscape, guys. It's just, it's breathtaking. I don't even know what to say. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Let me check out, see where the snow's been melting off this rock and running right down here. Got some plants growing in those crevices just grasping onto the last little bit of summer before all this freezes over got some lichens and stuff growing off of here i don't know what these plants are but they got to be tough that's for sure i wonder what type of little critter lives down there you can see a nice little rounded out hole you can actually see a little bit of what looks like where it's been coming in and out of the hole right there i wonder if it's a small mammal or I can't imagine it's an insect. I mean, I guess it could be, but it's pretty cold for insects up here. Hang on. There's a building right there. I'm pretty sure. Looks like a building. I'm about to get my camera out and zoom. Oh, look. I can see cables up there. It must have been more than mining town, I guess. That's, that's crazy. I'm pretty sure this is similar to what on top of the world feels like. <laughs> crazy now I gotta get down <laughs> that's my guys up there headed up that way <laughs> historic Lynch cabin built in 1930 some mud walls yeah mud wall 
Uh, still got a wash bin. It's a bed. Of course, people graffiti all over it. That's pretty neat. Huh. Hike's a little steep. Just a little bit. That's the that's trail up that way. Gotta navigate all this before I get up there. <laughs> Jeez. getting close yep I see the lake you can hear the water running down underneath those rocks over there there it is Wow this look at this lake way up here I bet you that is some of the purest water on earth that's got to be some of the purest water on earth I'm drinking some of that Look at how clean that water is. Aren't you proud you didn't turn around? This is a long freaking way up here. I was getting one point seven miles around the trail. You don't see water like this in Louisiana anywhere except for a bottle. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh don't do it, we peed in it, we peed in. Yeah, kind of wish I would have brought my water bottle. For real, it's tasty. You want to come try? Maybe. No, it tastes better than most bottled water I ever tried. Like Dasani can kiss my skinny white ass. So can Aquafina. Where we were. Look at him. Look at him. I'm just skittering down the trail. He's booking it. Oh, he went in another hole right there. That's cool. Let me see if I can get a picture on my phone. Look at him. He's just chilling right there, eating him a little grass. Look, look. Oh, oh there he goes. I can't believe how close he let me get though. I guess they're pretty used to seeing people though. Look at him. Yeah, we survived guys. Let's be taking off this camera. Sergeant may say something. What's up? Yeah. We survived. Barely. The water was delicious. We're gonna be hurting tomorrow, but we made it. <laughs>